nice. I love the the sounds of really high quality. I mean, it's satisfying to play through. I think, and, and like you said, that the actual the effects on other plugins can, can be great, but the depth that you get from these and the response just is is gives it just that extra. It's a huge thing. I think actually, it's inspiring to play through. Hi, Sam Bell here. I'm at 42 Gear Street 2. I'm here with Blue Cat Audio. Gillian, thank you for your time. Thank and um, it's been so hectic here and we finally managed to find a slot to talk about your awesome new guitar plug-in software. Now, before we even start talking about it, I just want to maybe just play. Yeah. And I want to ask you about some of the really cool features. I think this has got some really unique elements to the software, which I think a lot of people are going to really like. So I'm going to start a bit of playing so we can just hear the vibe, I've gone for a crunchy sound with a bit of reverb, something simple, just to show the dynamics. And this is one big thing that I think sounds really cool about this software, so. So for me, I've played lots of plugins before and I use them primarily for sessions and stuff from home or my laptop and they, they sound great, but often I'm overwhelmed with presets or amp models which sound good but don't necessarily feel like I'm playing through an amp. So initially, just the starting point with the software, it's so easy to use. Could you take us through just some of the key features that make this unique with the preset functions and the ways we can change the amp response. Yeah, so, so maybe let's, uh, you were talking about dynamics and the way it reacts, so maybe just let's start with that. Great. Uh, one of the things which makes it really unique, and, and I'm glad you noticed it because I spent like five years just to try to, to get that feeling um, mm -hmm. um, with the uh, simulation. And so what happens is uh, uh, the software is actually reacting, so if you play a few notes, you're going to see when the that's the inside of the simulation. Sure. Um, so if you play smoothly, it won't distort that much. But as soon as you hit the, the strings, mm -hmm. you're going to see the curve moving. So maybe we can show that. Uh, okay. So I'm going to play... Um actually reacts to the way you play that that was the, the initial idea so that's I think that's what really um, makes it unique mm -hmm. compared to what you can find in other simulations which are usually a bit flat in terms of uh, dynamics and, and reaction mm -hmm. um, which you described earlier yes and, and I noticed as well there's lots of parameters within that that's that right you can fine-tune yeah that's right but usually it's a bit frightening for people <laughs> <laughs> so there's another option here uh, which I call 2D maps or tone maps. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually uh, use uh, existing presets in there, load them into a 2D, spa 2D space, mm -hmm. and then find your own tone by just morphing between the presets. So it's just as if you were having uh, several amp models and create your own amp model that suits you uh, just by dragging the mouse. So maybe you want to show that? Great. So just to, just to clarify, that's like rather than in most softwares, it's they have all the amp models and it might say crunch and clean, but it's an endless list. So this is actually letting the user use their ears to fine tune and find things that they may not have clicked on initially as well to yeah. some extent. Yeah, and the other idea is that you don't have to know anything about the parameters. Yeah. You, you, instead of dialing in a tone, you just play and stop, uh, move the mouse and stop when you like it. Great. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. So let's. So we are we are in the crunchy tones. So let's keep crunchy tones in there. These ones. And let's move around and just tell me when you like it. Okay, cool. It 
it is instant. It's, it's almost like an EQ. You're getting the EQs of the amps really prominent there. You're not having to. You're getting those different the gain changes as well, slightly. Yeah. The response and everything. So you're getting an overall uh, preview of the sound as you as you do that. Yeah, yeah. And then once you find something that that sounds okay to you. Uh, you can then get back to the parameters and tweak the response a little bit if you want, just like we do on, on the amp. In fact, you're choosing the, the amp model there yes, uh, and creating your own model between um, the other models. So, so this is a good way of discovering new amp types maybe as well through the software. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you can save as a preset and then it's, it's a new amp model for you. Great. It's your custom one. So let's just say, if, let's, maybe we could maybe build a little bit of a tone yeah, from sure. this. So maybe there's a, just before we finish, there's a bit more of a... Top end, but still yeah. with that body. I like. Oh, I really like that. That's okay. Let's let's stick here. <laughs> and, and so from there, we can add in other effects around that. Sure. So mm -hmm. that was we just touched the uh, amp simulation side of things here. Yes. Uh, and then we can add some uh, some effects before or after the amp. Okay. Um, and uh, whatever you like. I like chorus. Chorus, okay. I'm guilty for liking chorus. So let's add some chorus in there. So really, we, we have that, that level of detail just in the amp selection itself, but we've also got all the, tons of high-quality effects, which are also tweakable within that. Yes, with and actually, uh, the, the tone map thing um, has been uh, implemented in some of the plugins, like the chorus. Ah. So maybe we can oh, try wow. that. Uh, like uh, I've got some, some classic choruses. Oh, no. Let's keep in the chorus territory, okay. okay. So here I can morph between three different types of chorus. Okay. So let's see what you prefer. Awesome. I see, I... I didn't actually. I knew, I knew the amp thing for the, the the map, but to have that for effects as well. Yes. It just so it works pretty well with uh, the creative effects like chorus, flanger, phaser, or even the reverbs, mm -hmm. uh, because that's effects that are typically a bit difficult to tweak. In the chorus, there are many parameters, mm -hmm. and whenever you move one knob, it's going to change the uh, the sound entirely. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's much easier to dial in a tone uh, using the map. Because you don't have to know what the delay or dry weight or whatever uh, thing does. Yeah, so I can see this being, you know, for, for someone who's recording from home or maybe a studio, that there's when time is of the essence and just finding something. And if you don't know what to do with the parameters, you can do it this way, it's quicker. And yeah. You can learn about those things. Yeah. And also, it's, yeah, I think actually. Because you can go and tweak, and if you want to do something, you can manually do it, but it really relies on the user's ear, which is something a lot of software, and, and even people looking for tones are often looking for settings, but actually the ear is the, the key here, and the mix is different every time, so having that thing, is, it's just, I, I love it, it's great. It, it's also a good way to explore new territories, uh, mm -hmm. like effects you would never think about, because... Uh, when, when, when you get used to some effects, you usually have like two or three settings you like and you stick there mm -hmm. because that's the way you set it up. Um, mm -hmm. Here you can explore some new tones you would never imagine you could do uh, yeah. with these effects. Great. Okay, so we've got a bit of chorus. I quite like the uh, first chorus we got there. The kind of... Um, the first preset we had, like the... Uh, it was quite a wide... We get a bit of delay, maybe. Oh yeah, sure. So let's add a, a small delay, like echo. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. The sounds are really sounds cheesy. They're just really high quality. I like. I, 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 it's satisfying to play through. I think, and, and like you said, that the actual the, the effects on other plugins can, can be great, but the depth that you get from these and the response just is, is gives it just that extra 
it's a huge thing, I think, actually. It's inspiring to play through. Um, so it's great. What other features can we can we uh, implement, maybe, we can put into this preset we're building? Um... I'm not sure. Where, where, do you want some, maybe I think some feedback to it? Yeah, let's see what, I'd like to hear the sound actually with feedback. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, so I'm going to load the Aquafine plugin. Ah, hold on. So you can actually load within this Axiom software, you can load your other VSTs through it. And any other VSTs, yeah, yeah. Wow. Like third parties. Uh, so if you have a, uh, an effect that you, you like a lot, uh, but you cannot reproduce it exactly with uh, Axiom, just load the VST. And Great, and it's fine. in there. So yeah. it's, it keeps for workflow, that also becomes a bit easier. To yeah, and you can save as a preset and reload it just instantly later. Oh, um, nice. And that, is that for just pre and post effects uh, outside of the amp? or can you? Yeah, it's yeah. all outside of the amp, yeah. Great, yeah. awesome. So this is the feedback. This is a separate software, but it's it works within this really well. So let's see how it feels like. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's so for, for mixing that with the pad sounds. And I know from hearing other people's demos here at Forty Two Gear Street, there's so many things we can we could spend hours yeah. going forward with delays. But having that for creating pads and textures, especially I love, you know, playing synths and stuff myself. But I'm a guitarist, and sometimes I like to create those sort of synth-like sounds in the background of my tracks, and that it feels really, really cool to play with here. Yeah. And uh, well, actually, if you if you want to have some kind of um uh, such as a, a synth backing track, automatic uh, backing track for you. Okay. I can show you another effect which okay. is built into Axiom actually. Okay. Uh, it's called Let Replies. It's a delay plugin, but that can uh, load the VSTs inside of it and, mm -hmm. and also has the same effects as Axiom. Great. Uh, and let, let's see, we, I think I have a preset that you will like for that. So if you play through it, it's going to just like play a solo part and you will get those synth sounds behind you oh, while okay. playing. I'm going to go back to E minor. some Gary Newman things. It's really cool. It's inspiring. I mean, that is actually a, a practice thing. It's quite a nice. Yeah. It gets you inspired in new ways, which is really important. Well, that, that's the cool thing with delays in general and, and with effects. It's, it gets you inspired, just getting some, some new tones out of there will give you uh, new uh, melodical ideas. How long have you been working on this? So you said five years of getting the touch. Just for the arm simulation, yeah, it took five years uh, because... I just wanted, well, actually I'm, I'm a guitar player too, so I'm using my own software mm -hmm. and I was looking for a solution to uh, replace all the gear I had and to uh, play in the box mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't release anything until I was satisfied with, with the feeling I had and, and the playing, so yeah, just, just for that it took five years. Mm -hmm. After, it's a bit hard to tell for Axiom because it's, it's lots of pieces here and there, mm -hmm. but I, I would say it's like maybe something like 10 years uh, of work with all other components in there. Great, well you should be dead proud because it's brilliant and I think a lot of guitarists will really like this. I Thank encourage you. everybody to find out more on Blue Cat Audio on the website. I'll leave links in the description. The Axiom is amazing and for recording guitarists, traveling guitar, and there's so many other features that we could go through but we'd be here for hours and yeah. <laughs> the simplicity of it and also the, the, the depth it goes into, it's, it's brilliant. It's intuitive but it's also in depth for those people who want to go that way. But uh, thank you, Gilliam. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me <laughs> and finding your slots. <laughs> yes, finally. I'm really glad we had the time. So if you want to find out more, Blue Cat Audio in the description. This has been 42 Gear Street 2. I want to thank Henning as well for letting me use his wonderful studio and being able to set up these amazing cameras and the team. It's been an yeah. absolute op great opportunity for everyone to get together. So I'll see you soon. Thanks.